So last year we got Daniil Medvedev's new Technofiber T-Fight 305. And today we're gonna take a look at the lighter models, the T-Fight 300 and the T-Fight 295. Hey guys, just got off the court with the new Technofiber T-Fight 295 and 300. Super fun to play with. And man, these are some good looking rackets. Now just about the T-Fight line in general. I found that it had really good spin. My serve, I had no issue getting the serve over the net and where I wanted it to go. And the forehand felt amazing. With the 300, I did stick to the baseline a bit more, just trying to rip on the forehand with hard shots. Usually with the 98, you're gonna be looking at 305, 310, or even 315 grams. But I think the 300 gram, 98 square inch head combo is amazing. For the 295 racket, I did find myself trying to get to the net a little bit more, just because it is a more mobile racket, lighter weight, more maneuverable. And the net play and volleys just felt more natural than with the 300. Getting spin on the 295 was not as easy as it is on the 300, but the 295 felt a lot more rewarding when you hit the sweet spot. For the Technofiber T-Fight 295 and 300, I would recommend an intermediate level player has a more flat shot and not a super long backswing. While these rackets are close in weight, their playing experience is quite different and they can each cater to a different style of player. Our specs run down on the T-Fight 300. The frame features a 98 square inch head, a standard length, 10.6 ounce unstrung weight and a four points headlight balance. With a medium flex, the T-Fight 300 offers a nice blend between comfort and crisp power. As far as the 295 goes, the racket features a larger 100 square inch head, a 10.4 ounce unstrung weight, a slight headlight balance. This racket has a firmer flex of 69 and a higher swing weight than normal of 324. So my on-court experience with the T-Fight 295 and 300, the 300 offers more control, it's a, a smaller size head, and in some ways it feels more mobile. Um, I think that is because of the, the more headlight balance. The 300 just seems faster through the swing than the 295. One striking difference between these two frames is that the 300 series, so that includes the 300, the 305, and the 315, it has that foam filling, so the racket just feel a little bit more dampened and comfortable. The 295 is very potent, very powerful frame. The 295 has a little bit more of a raw, crisp, modern feel, uh, does not have the foam filling in the lighter version. So it's kind of just two decidedly different feeling rackets, um, each for sort of a different kind of player as well. I would recommend the 295 to an advanced beginner or intermediate player that has more of a medium to shorter stroke style and is looking for a racket that can get them some easy power and maybe a boost in spin as well. And that player who craves more of a modern crisp feel. As far as the 300 goes, this model is a little bit more geared towards advanced players that like to attack the ball with racket head speed. The feel of these new Technofibers is really enhanced with Isoflex technology. So if you found the 305 a little bit too demanding, I would encourage you to give the 300 a shot. Hope you enjoyed our review of the T-Fight 300 and the T-Fight 295. To get the rackets for yourself or try our demo program, head over to TennisExpress.com.